today's episode, we do a C5 brake swap on the Gripworks Camaro. Alright, so what's the, what is the swap about? Alright, so what we're going to do, we're going to swap the spindle first to make sure we have the uh, bolt pattern correct for the dual pistons that we're going to put on. So it's going to be dual piston, 13 Schroeder with some C7 hubs. And this is going to help a lot out at the track. It's going to help me uh, brake a lot later and stop a lot better, more reliable than these stock 11 and single pistons. Cool, so it's a, it's a Corvette hub, right? So I think you can handle a lot more load too. Yeah, it's supposed to remove the um, pin deflection that's going on. So I'm guessing when you're turning, it's going to start making contact the pad with the uh, rotor. And in this case, it should eliminate that for a smoother turn. Cool. It comes with a whole new spindle. Got a spindle, whole new cast spindle, rotor. It's all factory Corvette stuff. C5 Corvette. Pretty sweet. So what do you have to do first? So first we're gonna have to do is jack this up, take the wheel off, and then remove this whole assembly as one with the spindle. Stock setup. And you said you wanted to uh, adjust the coilover while we were in there? Yeah, I'm gonna remove, because originally these uh, coilovers that I have, they're the Viking ones, and they have the polyurethane setup. So I'm gonna send it so it's gonna be a pure bearing style. And, uh, like a like a spherical joint. Kind of yeah, thing? exactly. It's gonna be that spherical oh, joint. Yeah. All right. Cool. Let's get started. That's cool. That's a, is that a ratcheting breaker bar? Yeah, it's a ratcheting one. Where'd you get that from? Harbor Freight. How nice would it be to be sponsored by Harbor Freight? You're yeah, pretty cool. Wink, wink. Wink, wink. That way they could differentiate. Yeah. Two hundred days. So I guess last time we were at the track and we had some trouble with the uh, with braking. This car is still using the factory Chevy disc brakes. 1972 spec. Well, you are running like EBC rotors, aren't you? Or EBC pads? Huh? What kind of pads or rotors are you running? Uh, I think it was centric pads. Centric pads. The pads are good. Yeah, I went with the whole centric. Just stock replacement for now. Because I was planning to do this in the beginning. Let's get a let's get a, a, a quick side by side of the stock stuff versus the uh, the Corvette stuff here. I'm gonna go full white on this guy. What's up? That happens when you run into a dirt patch <laughs> multiple times. You did run off the track a little bit before. <laughs> See how much different. Look at that. Huge difference. Huge difference. What about calipers? See size. Oh yeah, much better. This is the uh, two-piston Corvette caliper versus a one-piston Camaro caliper. And this rotor, do you know the size of this rotor? 11 inch. 11 inch rotor versus a 13 uh, inch rotor? 13 inch, Pretty exactly. Much. So much more break, um, mass, much more uh, diameter. So all of that helps with braking. Um, now, this spindle though, is that like a factory design or is that like 100% custom? Uh, I believe when I looked into CPP, they, it might be uh, 
designed a little better than this one, but being the second gen Camaro, he's already had the tall spindle design, which was uh, already pretty good out the box. What this one is just accommodating for is the bolt pattern for the new calipers it's gonna do. So it's got the Camaro pickup points, but it's got the Corvette ears for the Corvette caliper, and it's got the C5 hub. So now this is a hub system. It's such yeah. a so I, I actually opt out for the C7. It's oh, gonna it's have that bigger, bigger bearing. Oh, that's a C7 hub. This is a C7 hub. Oh, okay. C7 Corvette. Yeah. And now, what's cool about converting uh, an old car to a hub? A lot of the a lot of the guys out there, a lot of the kids out there, um, already have systems like this, where when you change your brakes, all you really have to do is take your rotor off, pull it off, and you know put it back on. What people don't know, and you're about to see, is taking these kind of brakes from old cars is a pain because of all these little bearings you gotta take out and retaining clips and just do yeah. crap like that. So. This is going to make the car a lot nicer to work on in the future, right? This is true. Yeah. Alright, so I think the best plan of attack would be to like... Remove this whole spindle as an assembly, right? Since we're not going to reuse the spindle, it's better off to just remove it all as one assembly. So just pop these loose. The uh, remove tie rod end, the upper and lower control arm of ball joint nuts, right? Yeah. The pop castle nuts that are going to be there. Just remove those and just take it off all as one. And then we're gonna assemble the spindle and the hub together. Put that on. And then put the rotary caliper on. And while we're in there, we're gonna go ahead and uh, adjust those colors, right? What did you wanna do again? Oh, yeah, so we're gonna do the, the bushing. bearing upgrade. So remove the polyurethane bushing that's in there and go to a bearing style bushing. Which I gotta find that box. Did you want? Are we gonna flip the the pullover over, or just swap bushing? Yeah, honestly, you could, we should be able to take off the coilovers and as an assembly. We don't need to. But we're gonna do that as the uh, as this is off. That we don't have to go back in there and take it all apart. All right. Uh, I guess we'll update you guys when we have this stuff out and when we're inserting this guy. You broke it. I ran into a problem. Slight hiccup. So if you get the C7 hub, these little suckers in the back are really long and really thick. So when you put the stud right through it, or the bolt here, this is what's gonna happen. It's not gonna rotate freely. Because you're gonna run into that. Yeah, all the bolts are hitting. So one remedy for sure would be to make this gasket thicker. What we're gonna do to keep us busy for now is just put some washers in the back so we can shorten this length. Alright, so let's see if we got a uh, heads up on that. Let's see if we got auto parts from. Do it. Alright, what's the verdict? Alright, we did a nice little hardware parts store search. Let's see what we could find. Okay. Tested it out, just installed it, and. Alright, looks good. So we got clearance now. How close is it? I don't know if you could zoom in there. It's pretty close. But it's enough to clear. Oh, that's good. Alright. That's it. So now we can continue. Dude, it's like so close. <laughs> Well, good thing we noticed now and not when we had the car together. Oh, by the way, now it's dark outside. And we got the lights up. So. Yeah, 
we do a lot of talking, not enough working, as you can see. Yeah. Okay. Back to it. Back to it. set what's left to do just uh, install the uh, brake line and bleed it that's pretty much it all right and how was the install a lot easier this time around because we already worked on it previously so we had no seized bolts to deal with this time around oh yeah before dealing with all those 40 year old fasteners mm -hmm. and all, all that change and this the CPP kit overall what you think Looks great. Looks great. I just can't wait to see what it does we on the did. street and on the track. We did run into a couple issues, right? Yeah. Uh, as previously stated, the other issue was the space between the wheel stud on the hub to the bolts that go on the hub to mount it. Okay. But we installed some washers and we settled that issue. So now it has the proper to rotate. Now it rotates. So next time you guys see this car, it'll, the brakes will be done and uh, it'll be up and running and, and shredding, right? Oh, and the bushings. Oh yeah, we uh, we ended up installing the bushings while we were here. So Let's we see if we can. I can't even. I can't even. So the bushing now went from being a polyurethane to a bearing. So it should be firm, and you should feel it to be more responsive uh, when, you, when you demand it to be more responsive, rather than before. Where polyurethane is still better than what it was, the regular rubber, um, but it's going to feel a lot better, a lot firmer, and a lot more direct. Alright. Cool, so bushings are done, brakes are done, 
Well, you just gotta finish up the other side, right? Yeah. Finish yeah. up the other side, and then uh, hopefully we'll see this car back out on the track and shave a few seconds off, right? Hopefully, that's the plan. Cool. All right, so that's all we have time for today. The uh, group was Camaro's coming along pretty nicely. Finally got the big brake on. Um, like like uh, Mooney said, next time you see this car, it's gonna be out on the track ripping. Uh, we just wanted to say thank you guys for 100 subscribers. We finally hit 100. We're a little past that now, but uh, we appreciate that. And those of you who are not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button below. Leave us a like, comment, tell us what you think about this build, um, and any uh, other things you guys might want to see. So uh, again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.